you want to make the most delicious zucchini lasagna you've ever had, I hope you enjoy this recipe. Like, comment, share, follow for more. And if you want to join the family, please hit that subscribe button. Let's get started. So we're going to start with making our sauce. In a pot, you're going to add 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, follow behind about a handful of fresh parsley and Italian seasoning. Next, we're going to go in and add salt and pepper to taste. I also added in Cajun seasoning and paprika. Get that cooking at medium high heat as we begin to slice our zucchini. Now the thinner you can get it sliced, the better because we are going to fold it. Should be looking just like this. If you can get it thinner, then that is perfect. Now that you have your sauce nice and hot, we're gonna go ahead and add in our veggies. About half a cup of yellow onion, followed behind about two cloves of fresh minced garlic. Place your pot back on the stove for about 15 minutes as all your flavors come together. As your sauce is cooking, let's start by making the filling. I'm using about a handful of fresh spinach and we're gonna chop it up pretty small. And we're also going to be shredding up our cheese. I'm using Romano and Parmesan. In a bowl, you're going to add one eight ounce block of cream cheese, a handful of your shredded cheese, your spinach, and you're going to mix that in along with salt and pepper. One tablespoon of fresh minced garlic, a little bit of parsley, fresh green onion, as well as three big tablespoons of ricotta cheese. Now we're going to start by filling our zucchini, so watch closely as we build it. We're going to kind of build it in a crisscross pattern. This is going to make sure your filling stays on the inside and you're not going to have a bunch spilling out all over your pan. I am using a watermelon scoop, which is perfect for your filling to ensure that it's not going to spill out and it's also going to be fully encased in your zucchini. Since I am making a small dish, Five to six of these will be plenty enough and you can absolutely play around with it to make you more. Now we're going to move on and start placing our sauce in the bottom of our baking dish. You want to make sure that you're coating the bottom fairly well to ensure that your zucchini will not stick to the bottom of the dish. Now that you're done, start by placing your squares side by side all on the bottom of the sauce and then we're going to take our leftover filling and begin using our watermelon scoop once again to put little dollops on the top next grab a fork and you're going to just mash that all over the top to make sure everything is coated very well grab a little bit more sauce and you're going to just kind of splatter it over the top now that you're done Go ahead and top it off with the rest of your shredded cheese, which can also be switched out for vegan cheese or other cheese options. Now you're ready to bake, place it in the oven on 400 degrees for 20 minutes, and you should have this nice bubbly golden brown top. We're gonna top it off with some fresh parsley, and you have a beautiful, quick, easy dinner that is so delicious, you're gonna wanna make this all the time. You're not even gonna miss the noodles, I promise you. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, share, and please subscribe for more videos. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and until then, I'll see you next time.